four vehicle accident involving a semi just west of the Four Lakes Cheney exit. And KXY Force Casey Lund was there as WSP troopers reconstructed the scene. This began with a small black pickup that was traveling eastbound on I-90. It lost control on this overpass, left the roadway, crossed center into the westbound lanes. That's when a semi traveling westbound tried to avoid that vehicle, crossed center into the eastbound lanes. And before leaving the roadway here, it struck two vehicles. This is where the semi stopped moving. The driver was successful in missing the first vehicle that lost control. It did make contact with this Subaru people in that car weren't seriously hurt. The semi made a more serious impact with this Prius killing the car's driver and shooting the vehicle back a good distance from where the collision happened. Proof not only of how hard the two vehicles hit, but how slick these roads can get. It happens quickly and drivers just need to be prepared for those conditions. We, it's winter time. Trooper Jeff Seventy stresses just how important it is to be aware of the conditions you're driving in and how quickly they can change. We had a fog set in and uh, froze the bridge decks, which is fairly common this time of year. The roadways under the bridge deck don't hold any heat, so any type of moisture when we have temperatures below freezing are gonna cause those to freeze up. Seventy says all too often that's something drivers overlook. The investigators first on the scene had a hard time standing on this overpass. You, you could play hockey up there. It was just, uh, and, and again, set them very quickly. Um, conditions uh, this time of year can change uh, rapidly, so uh, folks just need to be aware of that when they're headed out. All total eight people were transported by ambulance because of this crash. None of their injuries were life-threatening. Near Medical Lake, Casey Lund, KXOY 4 News. All right, thank you, Casey. And just minutes ago, the medical examiner identified the driver killed in that accident as 38-year-old Erlinda Alzate Barrera died of a head injury.